Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to continue the second part of Shadbala concept. Okay, that is this part is about the Shadbala concept. The part two continued. Okay, so before beginning, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon and click the like button. And if you are very doubt after watching this video, please do mention it in my below comment section. Okay, so let's begin. So mainly. I, in the previous video, I explained you about the zodiac signs that is particularly where the planets gets exalted in their particular signs. Okay, that is the zodiac signs where they get exalted uh, and multicorn sign and one signs and debilitated sign in particular degrees where degrees holds the most important thing. Okay, now and I also told that I'll explain in this video about the double V concept. So, what is double V concept? Double V concept is nothing but the Virgo Vimshoka. Okay, so in that work. Uh, Varga Vimshoka is nothing but where how much the planet each planet gets pointed particular divisional charge okay so let's say for example if Sun uh, gets exalted in the Aries okay uh, in the first house with uh, degrees of for example let's say 8 degrees or 9 degrees that is between 7 to 10 degrees okay and uh, Sun is receiving around like uh, 8 points, 9 points and all. But in the Nabhavsa chart, Sun will be in the sign of like for example Leo. Okay. And it's receiving, receiving the points of like 20 or 19. Then Sun will be considered as a very strong planet. And if it is receiving a very good points in other divisional charts. Like say for example D7, D9, uh, sorry D7 and uh, or the D60 and all. It will give very good result during the Mahadasa or Antardasa of Sun. Okay. Why this? Because why this concept is because even though the Sun, wherever it is placed in your birth chart, it's it can be exalted, debilitated, or multicorn or one sign. But in the other divisional chart, there is a Varga charts, that is what I told you D7, D9, or D10, or any D60. If it is using the more beautiful points, okay, if it is using very good points like 10, to, uh, like sorry, 20 and all 19 and all, then sun will give very good results even though if it is ba very badly placed in your bar chart. So this is the concept of, concept of the double V, that is the Virga Vimshoka, okay. And you need to check the condition of the other planets too, how they are, uh, how their condition is in the Virga charts. So let's say for example, taking Jupiter, if Jupiter is been debilitated in your birth chart, okay, uh, receiving uh, the degree from 25 degree to 27 degree, but in the now chart, it's been in its own sign, so uh, own sign and all, and in other Virga charts, it's exalted like that, or it's placed in the friendly sign, and receiving like for example in the birth chart if uh, Jupiter is receiving around like 10 11 points but sorry not 10 11 but it's receiving 5 to 6 points but in the norm side is re receiving like 10 okay and in uh, Saptamsa like D7 it is receiving the 15 points and in other birth chart is re receiving uh, sorry in other Varga charts is receiving more than 15 points then your Jupiter Mahadasa will be very fruitful for you. It will give very good results, okay? During the Mahadasa of Jupiter. So, this is known as the double V concept, that is Varga Vipshoka. So, after seeing all this, okay, the points at all in the Varga Vipshoka, calculating the points of particularly Sun, Jupiter, Moon, and everything, you need to add all those points, okay? So, for example, in the Sun, it's seeing in the D1 as for uh, some around 7, 9, uh, 7, 8, 9 and all points. Okay, so let's say consider 9 points. But in D9, it's receiving very good points like 15 and all. In D7, it's receiving uh, like say 17, 19 and all. And in D10 also, it's receiving 20 points. Then you need to add all those points. Like say I said, for example, 7 in D1. Okay, plus uh, this one 15 points. So like that, plus uh, the 19 points, 17 points like that and 20 points you need to add those things and divide by number of those uh, the, the charts, the Virga charts, the 1, birth chart 1, 2, D, uh, D9, 3, D7 and D10 divide by 4, add all these numbers of the sun uh, points that uh, sun is having, uh, getting points on those Virga charts and divide it by 4 then 
uh, you will get the overall average strength of the sun so this concept is known as right? double v that is the double v concept that is the work of shoka okay so i will explain i'll repeat it once again see mainly you need to check the condition of degrees of the planet how well they are placed in the bar chart so taking sun as the example if sun is exalted in aries around 7 to 10 degrees and it's receiving uh, points of like for example 5 6 and all which is very low even though it's exalted but in the d9 chart if it's in sits in leo and receiving the points of for example uh, 10 points or 12 points then it is very good and you need to check in the d7 also if it is receiving like 15 points it's very good and in d10 also if it is receiving 20 points it's very good you need to add all those points what i told you in d1 d9 d7 d10 so d1 i told you some around uh, some five points some something like five points or five to 10 points okay and in uh, d9 i told it's it would be receiving some around 15 and d7 uh, it will re- receive around 19 d10 20 add all those points and divide by 4 you will get a overall average uh strength of the planet sun okay this concept is known as the double v concept that is the work of vimshoka okay and mainly in this part i'm going to explain the uh two types of shatbalas uh, there are actually six types of shatbalas in that i'm going to explain the two types of shatbalas that is the first two types of shatbala where uh, you will get to know the other four shatbalas in the coming parts of the video okay that i am going to make it so there are actually the six types of shatbalas see see the chart in the uh, see the chart where you'll get to know the, about the six types of shatbalas yeah there are six types of shatbalas where you need to check the condition of all the types of shatbalas according to that you need to uh, come into the conclusions okay now look at the chart Uh, see, there are actually six types of uh, shot balls that you can see in the chart. Okay, so the first shot ball is the stana ball. Okay, strength due to position. So in that stana ball, there are actually five criteria that you need to follow. So ma- mainly there are uchcha ball, sapta varga jab ball, oja yugma ball, kendra ball, drekhana ball. Okay. So in uchcha bala, what do you mean by uchcha bala? Uchcha bala nothing but it's calculated by measuring planets' relative position with respect to the exact exaltation and depression points in the signs. So that is known as uchcha bala. Like I said to you, sun like t- taking sun as an example. So if sun is exalted, then it's known as uchcha bala, and if sun is depleted, then it's known as niche bala. So that is known as the uchcha bala and. Uh, how to calculate which bala I know for particular planets. So that is known as the strength due to position. Okay. So I I am going to repeat once again. So there are actually six types of shot bala. That is the first is tan bala. Uh, in that particular is tan bala. There are actually five radius that you need to follow this tan bala. That is uch uchcha bala, sapta varga jab bala, oja yugma bala, kendra bala, and Drikhana bala. Okay, so in fa in inside the stana bala, I am telling this. Okay, the five five following criteria where you should follow. So in the first thing, the uch bala what I told you, it is used to calculate by measuring planets relative position with respect to the exact exact exaltation and depletion points in the signs. Okay, so this is the thing. But when planet uh, which is depleted or exalted, like say uh, like say for example, if sun is exalted, then it's known as exaltation sign. If sun is depleted, it's known as depletion sign. Okay, so I'm re- repeating it twice so that you can understand very clearly. The so the second stana bala is sapta varga jab bala. Okay, it is calculated by the signs placement like exaltation, moon trigon, own friendly enemy depleted. That is known as science placement. Okay, calculation by science placement. In following chart like Rashi chart, Hora chart, Drikhana, Saptamsha, Navamsha, Dwadashamsha, and Trimshamsha. That is Rashi means the D1, Hora means the D2, Drikhana means the D3, Saptamsha means the D7, Navamsha means D9, Dwadashamsha means D12, and Trimshamsha means D30. Okay, the third. 
type of criteria of stan bala is odi yugma bala which is calculated by placement in even or odd signs in rashi as well as the navamsha that is the d9 okay so that is known as odi yugma bala okay so in odi yugma bala mainly you need to check the rashi that is it is even rashi or odd rashi as well as in navamsha chart and the bar chart where planet is setting if planet is setting the in even rashi what are the different results it will get here and planet seated in the odd signs so what are the different result it will get so in both the bar chart and also in the navamsha chart okay and the fourth criteria for stana bala is the kendra bala so what do you mean by kendra bala so as usual according to the name itself it says that kendra means the 1470 so bala means the strength so strength from those kendra houses that is the 1470 houses so it is calculated by placement in a certain group of four houses that is the group 1 is 1470 and the group 2 is uh, okay sorry uh, this is different okay so group 1 is 1470 group 2 is 25811 group 3 is 3690 so these are the kendra bala of the four houses so 4 into 3 if you know you will get 12 houses so that's what it has been mentioned in kendra bala means okay next comes the drekhana bala so what do you mean by drekhana bala so it's calculated by the placement in the first second or third decans of a sign so that is known as the drekhana bala okay uh, so the drekhana bala strength according to drekhana placements of the planets so that is one planet is placed from one another planet let's say for example sun is placed in the first house the other planet moon uh, sorry mercury will be placed in second house so like that uh, one planet is placed from another planet so that is known as the drekhana bala okay now coming to the uh, second type of shad bala is known as the dig bala concept mostly everyone will be knowing what do you mean by dig bala and all so if people do not know dig bala see it is mainly calculated by the placement related to kendra houses okay so digbala is static but it's a placement where relative is uh, calculated by the kendra houses that means that for example uh, see this uh, birth chart where uh, you you going to learn the digbala concept okay see mainly uh, in this birth chart see only the concentrated on the kendra houses okay where the jupiter and mercury gets uh, digbala in the east direction that is in the first house or is uh, in the north direction in the first house and sun and mars gets uh, digbala that is strength in the 10th house okay where the uh, it is about the career and status where king and uh, king will command his commander and commander will follow the king okay so that that you mean by sun and mars gets exalted in the 10th house in the east direction and in the south direction the saturn will gets digbala that is in the 7th house that is in the descendant okay and in the fourth house in the west direction the moon and venus gets uh, digbala strength even though planets is debilitated let's say for example jupiter is debilitated in the first house okay uh, then that does not mean that it is very weak so uh, due, due to digbala concept uh, the jupiter gets strength that is the double strength due to digbala concept and it will give very good powerful results during its mahadasa or antardasa of uh, jupiter even though mercury is debilitated in the first house it doesn't mean that you, uh, the person has a very uh, less intelligent okay it, it can also mean that he may be having less intelligence starting uh, years of age but after when gradually uh, goes uh, when he grows uh, he will be having the most highest iq okay or uh, most very creativity person because uh, mercury is debilitated in the first house of person who is very creativity even though if it is debilitated so these kind of things you can expect so these are the two concept that i have explained uh, uh, for this part that is a second part okay so uh, there are other four types of shatbalas okay this takes very much time uh, for shatbala concept in order to learn and study it properly and then predict the results according to it if you didn't study shatbala then all the result will go wrong okay so these are the two types of shatbala that i have explained here mainly go through this video once again if you have any doubt okay please to mention it in my below comment section and if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel below or else i will see you in the next video okay so thank you bye bye love you take care